In other news today, it was uh, just four and a half months ago that all of us were shocked and heartbroken as a young gunman opened fire at Oxford High School, killing four, wounding seven others. It was horrifying. And it uh, also led hundreds of students, parents, and staffers, left them traumatized. Well, today, some dissatisfied parents are saying they have yet to see the investigation, the security enhancements, and the accountability that they were promised in the aftermath of this terrible event. And they spoke out today. WJR Sydney News Analyst Chris Renwick with that story. Hi, Chris. Hi, Guy. The parents of some Oxford High School students are pleading with the district and school officials for improved safety measures inside OHS. We find that some of our children do not, and staff, do not feel that they are safe at school and that the school board and administration is not doing enough to ensure their safety. That's Lori Bourgeau, a parent of an Oxford High School student and organizer of the Parents of Oxford group who spoke at the American Legion Post 108 in Oxford this afternoon. She says the district isn't doing nearly enough to make the students, parents, staff feel safe following that deadly shooting that claimed the lives of four students back on November 30th. Bourgeau says there are things that can be done to at least help put everyone somewhat at ease. We are calling on them to immediately hire an independent school safety expert, such as U of M's National Center for School Safety, to do a review of what happened on November 30th and to make sure that how they're handling any security or safety concerns, such as threats, is in the best interest of our children while ensuring that they are safe. And perhaps most importantly, moving forward, Bourgeau says, there needs to be a greater emphasis on transparency, communication, and safety. Immediately start a public and transparent update of the school safety plan that the parents and students, because our students are the real experts in this, we keep saying to them, these the students are the ones you need to be getting the input from and listening to. And then to implement an updated school safety plan before next school year so that we can get the change for Oxford that our families, our students are asking for. And there's been a certain level of frustration among Bourgeau and some of her fellow parents who say that they've sent hundreds of emails, called repeatedly and tried other ways to communicate with district officials only to be ignored. In December, Oxford High Schools declined an offer from Attorney General Dana Nessel to conduct a review of the shooting. Nessel hosted a, com a community forum for Oxford parents, students and family members uh, on Monday. Meanwhile, Guy, Oxford School Board President Tom Donnelly said a subcommittee of the school board is in the process of vetting potential companies to do that review that the parents are calling for. But it's hard to believe that after four and a half months, you're just now soliciting offers from companies to do the review. That should have been done in January when everybody got back from vacation or from, from the holidays. You would have think that this is something, especially when, when the wounds are so fresh, that they wanted to show that there was going to be accountability and transparency from the get-go. And, and that was really the frustration I sensed among these families, where, where not only should this have been done almost immediately, and, and you, certainly with the, the understanding that people are grieving and people are dealing with so much, uh, you know, PTSD, even in some of these cases for, for these students and, and faculty members and parents. And so understanding that there is a, a time for that yeah. right after the events, but then shortly after that, you need to pivot. And that's what these parents are saying. We needed to pivot and, and not only review what happened, but then come up with a real safety measure. Look at what happened. Where were the, the, the loopholes? Where were the, the weak points? And try to shore those up. And that's where I think a lot of the frustration stems from. Well, and the, the problem is, is that in the absence of that, this isn't happening in a vacuum. What you are hearing and what they are hearing is coming from plaintiff's attorneys who have a financial axe to grind. And sure. so they're, they're throwing all of their accusations out there when a, a very objective report and investigation w would do a lot more to reassure parents. Uh, in, in, in this case, uh, you're, you're really, you're giving the other guys a chance to define what the narrative is. Uh, Chris, thanks so much. You got it.